This is Twit. Tim Cook was talking to a college crowd and said, I've been wearing a watch for some time uh, that uh, tracks my, uh, my, uh, my glucose. And uh, that was in April. And today, CNBC today, May 18th, CNBC is reporting Tim Cook is, is, is wearing this on his body somewhere. Doesn't say it's from Apple. But I'm going to imagine Steve Dowling yelling, no, <laughs> trying to jump in front of the microphone before. Uh, before he, you know, he was talking at the University of Glasgow. 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 And he, Glasgow. And he said he okay. had a room full of students in February. He got an honorary degree. He didn't say if it was a medical device from a company like Medtronic or Dexcom or an Apple prototype. But, quote, I've been wearing a continuous glucose monitor for a few weeks, he said. I just took it off before coming on this trip. Coincidentally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he also says he's lost some weight because of it, uh, that it's helped him train. Now, he's not a diabetic, but boy, that is a big market. Uh, diabetics, I'm a type 2 diabetic. Uh, Brian is a type 1 diabetic. We have to prick our fingers all the time. It's a pain, literally. And uh, a non-invasive glucose monitor that would give you continuous monitoring would be very valuable because... Even when you, even though you, you know, pricking your finger can tell you your blood glucose is just at a point in time, and you're not going to do it every hour. It's just too much of a <laughs> pain. So uh, I think this, this, this could be the holy grail. This could be the thing that puts the makes the Apple Watch as successful as the iPhone. Uh, it definitely, a lot of people are chasing it. There are already two or three companies that have uh, that have devices that are functional enough that you can get them by prescription. I think they're still I think they're still listed as experimental devices. So that means that the reason the FDA is allowing them to go to to, to be out and be be fruitful uh, is to get data on how well this stuff works. But yeah, I mean, uh, it, there's so many companies that are working on this because this is really it is it, 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 the the phrase a, a whole a holy grail is being bandied about, and that's oh, not yeah. un inaccurate. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Apple would not be the only company to have that technology because everybody's chasing it because it's one of those things that it's not it's not just um, for diabetics. If you have a window into here, I just. I just now okay before before I, I look really really horrible. I my the only sugar drink sweetened soda of any kind, including diet sodas, I have in my house are a single twelve pack of this really cool super premium Pepsi that comes once a month, and I can only it's get it on subscription. It's the same as we made in eighteen ninety three. It's because sometimes is, it, I, is that now, the point of it? Is but, the formula's eighteen? No, but real but, cocaine's still in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, uh, sidebar: This would be this would be a pick of the week because this is. I will say that this is the best cola you can get easily available. It is made with uh, real sugar. It's made with like I don't, I'm, let's forget about fair trade. Forget about a fair sourced uh, premium ingredients. And oh my goodness, you can taste it. And it adds it adds the last factor that you don't get with uh, Mexican cokes particularly in the Northeast, uh, this is freshly made. It's not like it hasn't been on a truck for a month being carted from someplace. And at some point it's been bruised with high temperature. I get it fresh and it's just <laughs> delicious. So that's a, that was, that was part, it was part of the bargain I made with myself saying that, okay, we are going to get rid of, we it used to be no sugar drinks in the house. Now it's like, okay, even the diet drinks are probably a bad idea. So no sweetened drinks of any kind. And the trade-off is I get to have 12 cans of this so that anytime I taste something that's sweetened, it is a delicious delight. It's like, the, it's like having 12 drinks a month. If I, if I were to have come, come home from work and have eight beers, that's bad. If I have like eight beautifully, I can savor every sip. That's a very, very good Do thing. Do you so, only yeah. drink the cola flavor or because they have ginger, citrus, and black currant? Uh, only, well, only the, uh, I've only tried the cola flavor because I do like my cola drink. Uh, I, I like ginger the, ale. I would like to try the ginger especially, ale. Well, especially, like ginger I've, been, I've, been make, I've been doing a lot of baking with like real ginger root. Ginger's so and the, good. Oh my goodness. A, a friend of mine gave me a recipe for a ginger cake that I cannot stop making. I, I'm making it I'm making it so often it's like having it's like it's like uh, having tomato plants or cucumber plants in your backyard. I'm giving it to my neighbors because I got too much around the house because anyway, uh, but yeah, it's but my, the, the, my, my, my basic theory on this sort of stuff is instead of having like two or three cans of diet soda every day, and basically drinking them and not noticing them. How about if I have like one sugar drink every two or three days and every time I drink it, every sip is an explosion of pleasure and flavor. 
I think that that's maybe a, a, a good way to think about it. But uh, but base but basically, if I if I had a an a, an, a, an on on demand like as we go glucose monitor that was just simply you know an eighty dollar watch band, <laughs> you would never drink strap. another can of this again. I can well, promise. Well, no, you. but I'd be I'd be more aware of uh, right now. I, I've got this sort of conceptual idea that no, it's not good for your blood sugar. No, it's not good for caloric intake. It's not good for a bunch of reasons. Thirty nine grams was, of sugar. It's, it's twelve dollars a can in Canada. On Is Amazon. it? Yeah. Yeah. 75 bucks for the 12-pack on Amazon.ca. Wow, it's but, but, 15 but, bucks for a 12-pack here, so it's a buck a can, a little bit more than a buck a can. Yeah, well, because they, they probably don't make it locally. They have to, like, import it or export it. You could do subscribe uh, but, and save. That must be what you're doing, right? Yep. Yeah, I get. I, I have a again. That's that's what that was. I I have mission. The thing is, I'm the sort of person that I have to define it as a rule. That here is the <laughs> rule. You can have this, but the only way it can come into the house is buy an you Amazon one case a month. Only, yeah. right, well, it's not even a, qu a case. It's twelve cans. Uh, but 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 getting back on uh, on the subject though, I mean, Leo, you can you can you can possibly test that. It's easy. It's kind of easy to conceptually understand that perhaps I should not eat drink a a sugared soft drink. But then well, I, I'm going to drink. I'm going to switch completely to orange juice and fruit juices like yeah but they still have sugar and they'll still spike your blood and and you, you don't understand that when, I, when I was uh, water when i was taking water yeah. water i've that's again this is this is this is my regular tipple Good. i've even i've even kind of switched from from <laughs> believe it or not from seltzers to and he's the kind of guy who who's, has a regular tipple <laughs> yeah. no, again, this is this is, this is I, literally this is this this, this is my special my tipple that, exactly it's like uh, if if it's I I I buy this because it gives me pleasure. I enjoy it, and if I were to drink it all the time, it would cease to be a special treat. It would then be just that. Oh, it's eleven. It's nine a.m. But time to reach into the cooler behind beside my bedside and start the day off with Daddy's little Daddy's little writing helper. You can, uh, but, by yeah, the but, way, get a dash button for it if you want. No, that's 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 bad. There's also there's also like, there's a dash button for Coke, like Coke, uh, Coke. for 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 peanut bags of peanut M and M's. I'm like that is oh, that is that is medically that's for me trouble. that's they're medically contraindicated. I, I posted something to Instagram the other day because I was shopping and M and M redesigned like they they have you know peanut M and M's in all kinds of sizes. One bag that's like two thirds of a pound. They totally redesigned the bag to make it family, more clear. Like look, family size. This, this is I, not I know, a single the, portion serving. Exactly. See, you can you can. Pull open. It has a zip ziplock at the at the top. You can take some out, then leave some behind. We, we are trying to tell you: do not eat Int two thirds of a pound of M and M's in one sitting. We're feeling really, oh, really guilty about this. Oh God! And I'm sure plenty do. Well, there you go. But, so, but, but again, ha having a window into what you eat has this effect on your on your body almost immediately. I mean, I I, I have a an advantage that I was taking care of a type one diabetic for uh for a year or so and that really made me understand and it raises being a, your awareness ha doesn't it yeah ha exactly having an outsider's awareness that I'm, I'm able to look at this objectively and saying that okay uh, uh she had a she had oatmeal at this time and that's what her right. blood sugar went into her blood sugar two two hours later i can stabilize it by doing this she had this and that caused this problem but the ability to simply have this this, this again this objective device saying that objectively here's what your blood sugar has been like and by the way we were also this watch was also collecting what your actual motion activity was like and gosh it seems like every time you have one of these <laughs> for one hour later ending three hours later you're not moving around that much at all <laughs> we, we believe that there is a one-to-one -one correlation between your ingestion of a lot of sugar and you not getting not not moving around a lot a couple of hours later 29 million americans have diabetes so there's the immediate market but uh, but if it, but even tim cook uh, where is it and get some value out of it this could be huge 86 million americans have pre-diabetes and by the way type 2 diabetes is quadrupled in the last five years it's become an epidemic in the united states so that google is also working on this they're verily a division it's an alphabet company not a google company is working on contact lenses that can uh because your tears i guess which reflect uh, the, your blood glucose uh so yeah this i mean i think there's a race at this point to figure out who can figure this out first this is a big market more americans are killed by diabetes uh than um well, i just saw the stat let me look at it than aids and breast cancer combined so you know uh there are six we're 69,000 deaths in 2019 from diabetes so 
it's a, not, it's not only is it a serious disease, it's a killer, and this would be a massive product. And in a way, it almost feels like the product the Apple Watch was waiting for. Now, as you point out, FDA approval would be required for this. You couldn't just put it out well, on the market. As, as, soon as, they, as soon as they make a claim that this feature does this with your health, they can't say they, – they now suddenly eight feet of regulations at the end and right. trials they have to complete. They can say you'll feel better by using this app. That's fine. You can you, even anecdotal uh, evidence, though, is not something that uh, is something that gets you in a lot of trouble. So that's why there's a difference between saying maybe we're good, at, maybe maybe even having a not even terribly accurate blood glucose monitor uh, would be a good thing to have on a watch. That's why there's such a big difference between no, you got to get it exactly right so that you can say exactly what it does. Because a lot of people, this was a lot of the reasons why there are a lot of technologies that work really, really well. There's there you can have a uh, you can do statistical analysis of very, very weird phone data like motility d data. If it recognizes that you're walking, how are you walking? And connect that to a possibility that maybe there's something you need to check up on. But that's a research paper sort of thing. Before you can put that into a product, it's so – it's again, it's like another order of magnitude of difficulty to say that, yes, this is true. Yes, you you, can't, you shouldn't just sort of guess that maybe I'm okay because, yes, I'm feeling I, – I smell toast all the time and my left arm has been numb since February. But, hey, this app says that – this app that looks at my pulse rate says that, hey, it looks like you you're, you're have a good, strong, healthy heart. That will cause people to not want to go to the doctor because, hey, my free watch app tells me that I'm okay.